Hello guys, welcome to the Web Epic channel. In this video, we'll be looking at how we can use the advanced filter in our CTX Feed plugin. Please note that advanced filter is a functionality of our CTX Feed Pro version. So if you don't have that, you'd ideally want to upgrade to that version. So now without further ado, let's get started and learn how we can use advanced filters. To find the advanced filter functionality, you want to go into your plugin and find a feed you can use. In this case, I'll use custom one. After you're inside your feed, scroll all the way down and here under one of the tabs, you will find advanced filter. Once you have clicked on that, you can see that you can add new conditions and make up filters. Using the advanced filter functionality, you can screen or filter out certain products that you want to show up in your feed. So let's jump in and show you an example how this will take effect. Right now, let's add a condition to our filter. I'll go add condition. Under attributes, let's choose product title. Let's say the product title needs to contain the word winter. Let's say in this example, all the feed that I'm trying to upload, I want our winter products to go up. So I will go through the title and find the word winter. Let's add another condition and say that the quantity right here has to be equal or greater than let's say five let's put that in and we'll save so right now under custom one you can see that we have the advanced filter which tells us that any product that is going to be uploaded needs to have the word winter in it and the quantity in stock needs to be greater than five so right now let me jump into our products and show you some of the products that will go through this filter here in our product page you can see all the products that we have here now out of all the products we can see that these are the three items or products that's going to hit the first requirement of our filter because it contains the word winter so let's go inside one of these products now the second condition that we put in our filter is the quantity needs to be more than five so let's go into inventory and you want to click on enable and manage stock so that you can check the number of items or quantity that you have available so i'm going to do that let's say this product has six available hence it is going to pass the filter i'm going to update that so winter basic hoodie is done i'm going to move on to the next product let's say winter short sleeve hoodie Let's do the same thing, go into inventory, enable manage stock and put this as we've got 10 pieces. So once again, this will also pass the filter conditions. Let's go into product and let's go into the last one, winter long sleeve hoodie. For this one, let's go into inventory, go to manage stock and put only two left. In this case, this product will not pass through one of the filter conditions. Since under condition we use the add functionality, both of the condition needs to be met. Since this is not meeting one of the conditions, we expect to see these two products come up, but not this to come up in our feed. So let's go ahead and experiment and see if it works. Now under advanced filter, let's go ahead and change the condition from and to or. That means now if either of these conditions are met, the product is going to show up. So let's go ahead and update and generate feed. Once it's ready, let's go ahead and download it. Now with the filter condition set as R, we can see that all three of the hoodies, basic hoodie, short sleeve hoodie and the long sleeve hoodie has been picked up by the filter. Moreover, we also have an extra item that has been picked up obviously belt does not contain the word winter here however if you see under quantities the quantity is 12 which is more than 5 which is why this feed has also picked up an extra product there you go guys this is how you can use the advanced filter functionality now you can add as many conditions as you want for your feed to show up correctly the sky is the limit if you have any questions you're welcome to reach out to us at support at webappick.com 
I hope you guys found this video useful. Please leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. I hope everybody has a good day. Thank you very much.